I mentioned spring does start tomorrow and for many yesterday's warmer temps means only one thing gardening, but there are some vegetables and plants you might want to hold off on at least until it gets a little warmer. Daisy Caballero joins us tonight and Daisy, you have some of the do's and don'ts of what to plant this season. Yeah, Blair, I definitely do. Uh, Portland Nursery off Southeast Stark and 49th welcomed over 500 shoppers yesterday because of the nice weather. And while yes, it's safe for some new plants and veggies to be planted, that's not the case for others because of the varying frost dates. It's so fun to be here when everyone's got spring fever and is super excited. Katie is a manager at Portland Nursery off Stark in East Portland, where hundreds of Portlanders found themselves preparing for their spring gardening, including some kiddos. Lavender. You want to plant lavender? Yeah. We've been moving around for a long time. We were in Melbourne, then Shanghai, then New York, and, and then, then decided to live in Portland. And we came here primarily for like the nature and to grow stuff. But there are a few things to keep in mind when you're picking out your next outdoor plant. It's the perfect time to get planting. Uh, this time of year, it's go time for most everything. Uh, do be aware of frost. Um, we still are within average frost date for the Portland area. If you're outside of the Portland area, it goes a little bit longer. According to the Oregon Climate Service at OSU, Portland's average last frost date is around the last week of March. But if you live in Beaverton, Forest Grove, Hillsboro, or Newburgh, your average frost date extends through the month of April. So keep that in mind if you're going with the tender plants, annuals, some of the more warmer season veggies and herbs. Katie says now is the time to start planting seeds into the ground so you can get them established before things warm up. And if you're looking at what plants and veggies could survive a light frost, they're plants like shrubs, perennial flowers, lettuce, and broccoli. But it's a bit too early to plant basil, tomatoes, outdoor begonias, and sunflowers. Now, Katie says you can also bring potted plants against a wall outdoors or cover them with another pot on cold nights. You can also search other DIY ideas online, like cutting a clean milk jug in half and placing it on your plants so it's protected from the frost. Blair? Well, thanks so much, Daisy.